The U.S. EPA is deciding on new regulations for drinking water to avoid something called forever chemicals from continuing to be in our water supply. They can be found in private wells or in our public water sources, and they're most common in urban areas and near manufacturers. Right here in central Ohio, it is a risk that is impacting almost all of us. TV's Kevin Landers talked to a local treatment plant about the real cost of clean water. The Scioto River is 231 miles long. About 40% of it supplies water customers in the city of Columbus. The water out of our tap is treated and monitored by people Metal like analysis. Emily Eskridge. Um, this machine measures TOC for us. To ensure forever then... chemicals called PFAS don't exceed federal regulations. Is our water safe from PFAS? So. It's hard to say what safe is. The reason, she says, is that the U.S. EPA has yet to decide what is safe. For now, the recommendation is four parts per trillion gallons of water for forever chemicals that comes from the local water department. We had no idea it was in the water back, you know, a few years ago because no testing could have presented it. They're called forever chemicals because they never break down in the environment or in our bodies. They get into our bodies through the water we drink and the products we use. They were designed to repel water from clothing and furniture, whisk moisture from sportswear, and keep makeup waterproof. We're finding more and more health effects related to PFAS. Susan Pinney is the director for the Center for Environmental Genetics at the University of Cincinnati. She says at low levels, forever chemicals have been linked to a series of health problems and may increase the risk of cancer. I do think it's substantial public health risk. The total capacity at this plant is about 30 million gallons. Glenn Marsluff runs the Delaware Water Company. His team plans to retrofit the county's water system with a carbon filter to meet the new EPA standards when they're released. The US EPA has suggested that drinking water could be about a 25% vector for this stuff getting into the human body. And, and incidentally, it's in 98% of the blood of Americans today, right? So almost every single individual you know or Matt has some PFAS levels in their blood. The concern about forever chemicals is not only a problem at water plants, it's also a warning sign for water customers. When the US EPA hands down its new regulations, it will force water plants to spend tens of millions of dollars to meet its new standards, a cost that will ultimately have to be paid by water customers. To install treatment at our Dublin Road facility, you're probably looking at 90 to 100 million dollars. It's expensive. In Delaware, the cost is less, but still a large expense. The cost is probably in the neighborhood of, of 8 to 10 million. So what should consumers do in the meantime to filter their own water? Experts suggest a home filtration system designed to filter PFAS. Meanwhile, these odorless, colorless, tasteless forever chemicals will never completely leave our water system. The question is, how much are we willing to spend? To get to zero. Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Well, last year, Governor Mike DeWine announced an expansion of Ohio's H2 Ohio program that will test the state's largest waterways for forever chemicals. Now, those test results are expected in the fall, and we'll update you with those results when they become public.